But, Corey, again, let's just take sort of the whatever, 30,000-foot view, the view from the moon where Monique Ryan is already the leader, um, which is the, the sort of clever use of numbers here, right? Now, remember, when, they, when the left want to kill off the Stage 3 tax cuts, uh, they, of course, compound all of the money together over, you know, 250 years, and they're able to get to $58 billion, right? Um, when politicians really are making an announcement at budget time that's four years away and over 12 years, it's still $4 billion. We saw today that when they got caught going from half a percent to one percent to ten percent, that it went from half a percent to one percent to one in ten. And it has been fascinating to follow the breadcrumbs around the media of the number of people who don't even work out that they've just had a... that they've just played switcheroo in front of people. Paul, I think this just demonstrates that people in media, I think people in politics simply don't understand superannuation. Uh, and I think most Australians don't understand superannuation. If given a long enough timeline, every single Australian will be affected by this for the simple reason that governments continue to debase money. We've got inflation that's growing, uh, and which means basically the value of money halves in every 10 or so years at the moment. So we have a significant issue here and people are going, oh, what does it matter? I can't understand having three million bucks in my super account, so it doesn't affect me. But it will ultimately because they'll set the arbitrary parameters today. They'll put retrospective taxation in, which is what this is. And then once they've set that parameter, they'll keep tinkering with it, as they always do, to make it, you know, narrow it down to a, a broader and broader class, if I can say that. <laughs> There well, are two Matt... distinct th problems here. One I've mentioned. No, no, keep going. Sorry, keep just get to the second Matt, one. Matt's right about the, Matt, Matt's absolutely right about the assumptions. Release the modelling, release the inflation figures, release the sort of average wages that they're expecting, and they will contradict other things that they'll have in the budget. Mark my words. The second thing is this is retrospective. It is undermining the superannuation system. And the third thing, which really gets my goat, is people like Anthony Albanese are largely immune to this. He's on a defined benefits pension which, by the time you add it flowing down to his partner, and Robert Gottliebson did the numbers today, it's probably worth $20 million for any private person to generate that sort of wealth over that sort of time frame. There's zero risk attached to it, right? How badly is he going to be affected? And the other superannuants that are cashing in on this and coming out and saying, we should be charging down this path. That's the real question they need to answer, including the public servants, but they won't because they haven't got an answer to it and it might actually affect them. Well, this is shameful. Yeah, look, and as we played the numbers out last week, right, um, so if you have $3 million in superannuation, you retire at average retirement age and you have average life expectancy, it's about $187,000 a year that you will have for the rest of your life. Way better than anyone who, of course, is on a pension where it could be as low as $20,000 or $26,000. But also those that are on the average amount of superannuation, it's only a little bit above age pension numbers. Albanese, $400,000 a year, every year for the rest of his life because he was in the parliament pre-2004. That's $6.5 million that he's going to have out of superannuation between retirement age, nine years from now, and uh, life expectancy. Of course, we hope he has a long life and plenty more pension years beyond that. But also... He's got $5 million worth of property. So this bloke who's in it for you, who doesn't who thinks the Liberal Party's, you know, and the Nats are fighting for the Richies, he's the one who's going to have 11 and a bit million dollars in his hey, retirement. Can I, can I just add this, Paul? Sorry to interrupt. But understand, his pension is indexed, right? This $3 million <laughs> figure least. is not yeah. going to be indexed. Yeah. His pension yeah, then flows right. down to his partner. He could marry a 20-year-old and they would be on the pension for another 88% of his pension for, for the term of their natural life as well, which could be another 40 years. This is a scandal, and they're making it apply to everyone or other people, but not to themselves. And that's where the well, buck good has thing. to stop.